Welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Tripti Chaudhary. I am working as Senior Assistant Professor at Institute of Law Kurukshetra University. Today I am going to tell you about the importance of phonetics and intonation in front office management. Learning Outcomes After the completion of this module, students will be able to understand the concept of phonetics and intonation. Second, know about the organs of speech used for production of speech sounds. Third, be familiar with different speech sounds used in English. Fourth, understand the different tones used for different sentences. The importance of phonetics and intonation in front office management. It's story time. Have you ever thought from where have we learned the important lessons of our life? It is from stories. The stories that we have heard as children have told us many truths of life. The story of Thirsty Crow teaches us where there is a will, there is a way. The story of Hare and Tortoise gives the lesson that slow and steady wins the race. The story of Woodcutter and his act shows that honesty always pays. Here is a short story to read and ponder. Vani was an intelligent and hard-working girl. Since her childhood, she dreamt of being a manager in a big hotel. After passing her graduation in hotel management from a reputed institute, she got a job in the front office of a world famous international hotel. She was on cloud nine. She felt very excited on her first day of job. She looked a very smart and impressive employee of the hotel. As some guests entered the hotel, she very politely asked one of them to write her name in a register. The guest wrote her name. When Vani's colleague asked the name, she read it as Char Lote Do Glass. Listening the name, the colleague burst into peals of laughter and the guest in anger left the hotel. Vani felt embarrassed and was totally shattered. The moral of the story is that effective communication is essential for front office employees and effective communication is not possible without effective speaking skills. Now you may ask why effective communication with this is important for the front office employees. The answer to the question is in the next section. Section, the importance of effective communication in front office management. The front office of a hotel is like brain in a human body. As brain controls the working of different parts of a human body, similarly, the front office decides the activities of different departments of a hotel. The reason being that it, is the f it has the front first hand information about all the guests that arrive and leave a hotel. And the correct or effective communication of the information is necessary for correct or effective functioning of the different departments of a hotel. The front office occupies central position in a hotel. It does two level communication, intradepartmental and interdepartmental. Within the department, the staff of front office communicate with each other to provide the best possible guest services, such as reserving accommodation, reserve, registering guests, managing guest accounts, handling guest mails and personalized guest services. As interdepartmental 
front office communicates with different departments such as housekeeping, food and beverage service, food and beverage production, accounts, human resources, banqueting and marketing and sales department. Front office communicate with each department can make or break guest stay at the hotel. As the front office is responsible to sell the hotel accommodation, it is major driving force of generating revenue. Hence, communication within and out of front office departments needs to be vibrant and positive. Since most of the communication is verbal, effective communication is possible through effective speaking skills. The two important components of the effective speaking skills are phonetics and intonation. The following section discusses them in detail. Next section, phonetics, definition, meaning and the need to study it. According to Oxford English Dictionary, Phonetics quote is a branch of linguistics that deals with speech sounds, unquote. To, for in simple words, phonetics is the study of pronunciation of the words in a language. Any language in the world has two aspects, spoken and written. The written form of a language is supposed to represent the spoken form of the words phrases and sentences. In other words, there should be perfect correspondence between the spoken and the sound and the spelling of the word in a language. Such correspondence unfortunately is not perfect for any language in, and in case of languages like French and English, it is far from satisfactory. For example, in English, a letter of an alphabet may stand for different sounds of it may different words. Conversely, a given sound may be represented by different letters or combination of letters in different words. An example of the first type is the letter U in the words like cut, put, root, minute bury and university. An example of the second type is the sound represented differently in different words by the letter K. As K recur sound is represented by kite, then rock in CK, C in cat, double C in acclaim and Q U in queen. Due to this mismatch of spelling and pronunciation, now we see that how Vani mispronounced the word. Therefore, it is important to learn the correct pronunciation of words and therefore the need to study phonetics. The study of phonetics is essential for the people connected with tourism and hospitality industry because this cosmopolitan industry ser that serves multilingual, multicultural and multi-ethnic people has chosen English language as its official language for communication. The choice of English is obvious because this global language is spoken by most of the peoples in the world. Next, the varieties of English speech sounds. English language is spoken all over the world. Therefore, there are many varieties of English, British English, American English, Indian English, Canadian English, German English are some of the varieties to name. The speech sounds in different varieties of English are different from one another to some extent. The speech sounds in any variety of English can be 
divided into two parts first vowel sounds second consonant sounds the consonant sounds are more or less same in different varieties of english but the vowel sounds are different to a great extent now the question arises which english speech sounds one should learn the answer is one should choose the speech sounds of one of the standard varieties of english the standard variety of english chosen to for detailed study in this module is the variety of english used by educative native speakers in south east england often referred to as received pronunciation or british rp that is accepted pronunciation because it has acquired a very large social acceptance british rp is also known by names such as kings or queens english the bbc english the oxford english or the public school english the choice of british rp has been made mainly on account of two reasons first it is a model for teaching english pronunciation in india and the best indian speakers of english attempt to approximate it second reason the books recordings and practice practice material on it are readily available now how do we produce the speech sounds for the production of speech sounds in fact for the production of any sound there must be some disturbance in the air the organs of human body which produce speech sounds are called organs of speech the organs of speech can be best described in under three systems first the respiratory system second the phonatory system and third the articulatory system first coming to talking about the respiratory system the role of the respiratory system in production of speech sounds is that it provides the air stream that acts as a medium in which when disturbance is created by the organs of speech speech sounds are produced this air stream mechanism is called pulmonic aggressive air stream which means the air stream going out of the lungs english and all other european languages as well as all indian languages except sindhi used the pulmonic aggressive air stream mechanism the phonatory system the role of the phonatory system in the production of speech sound is that it decides whether the speech sounds produced will be voiced or voiceless in fact this depends on the position of the vocal cords which is a pair of lip like structure situated inside the larynx when the vocal cords are wide apart the air can pass freely without causing them to vibrate and the sounds produced are called voiceless sounds when the vocal cords are held loosely together the air from the lungs passes through them on by setting them into vibration the speech sounds produced are called voice sounds now the articulatory system the articulatory system plays a very significant role in the production of speech sounds particularly the consonant sounds the different parts of the upper jaw and lower jaw constitute the articulatory system the different parts of the upper jaw are known as passive articulators and different parts of the lower jaw are known as active articulators hence it is important to mention that 
tongue is most flexible organ of speech it can assume a large number of shapes and make take many different positions to describe these shapes and position it is customary to divide the tongue into different imaginary parts that are tip blade front and back now the british rp vowel sounds there are 44 speech sounds also known as phonemes in british rp out of these 20 speech sounds are vowel sounds and 24 speech sounds are consonant sounds to represent the 44 speech sounds in writing symbols are used known as phonetic symbols these symbols are taken from international phonetic alphabet or ipa devised by the international phonetic association ipa has symbols to represent all the sounds that exist in the languages of the world it is based primarily on the 26 letters of roman alphabet some additional symbols have been derived by modification of existing letters of the alphabet and some other symbols have been borrowed from the greek alphabet with the help of phonetic symbols one can write the pronunciation of any word in english language the writing of the pronunciation of a word of english is known as phonetic transcription here are the 20 vowel sounds british rp vowel sounds the first sound is e as in beat heel key e as in bit hill duty a as in end met a as in and mat a a as in art heart car next is o as in on caught then o as in all caught saw then a u as in pull then u as in us pool shoe a as in us bus then a as in earth mouth fur then a as in ago police tailor now next sounds a as in eight straight stray i as in ice mice my then next sound is oi as in oil boil boy o as in oak jerk show, slow then next ao as in out shout bow next ear as in ear beard dear a as in air empire chair u as in jewelry tour some important facts about the vowel sounds first all the vowel sounds are voice sounds that is the vocal cords vibrate when they are produced second all the vowel sounds are oral sounds that is the air passes through the mouth without any interference when they are produced third the tongue plays a very important role in the production of or articulation of the vowel sounds the two factors that decides the type and or quality of the vowel sound produced are the part of the tongue raised and second the height to which it is raised depending on the part of the tongue raised the vowel sounds are classified as front vowels central vowels and back vowels depending on the height the vowel sounds are classified as closed vowels half closed vowels half open vowels and open vowels fourth of the 20 vowel sounds 12 sounds are pure vowels or 
monophthongs that is in the production of the vowels the tongue position remains unchanged and eight sounds are glides or diphthongs that is in the production of the vowels the tongue position changes through a smooth uh, glide now next point of the vowel sounds smooth tongue glide of the 12 monophthongs 7 are short and 5 are long vowel sounds diphthongs are all long vowel sounds next the vowel diagram on the basis of the two parameters of the part of the tongue used in the production of a vowel sound and its height a vowel diagram has been evolved within this diagram the british rp vowel consonants can be located in this diagram the close and open positions represent rep respectively the highest and lowest positions of the tongue the two outermost limits within which all vowel sounds are produced next the british rp consonant sounds the british uh, in british rp there are 24 consonant sounds here are the sounds british rp consonant sounds the first sound is p as in pen spoon whip b as in bag husband club t as in tip stain bit d as in den model head k as in king school black g as in girl against bag ch as in church church watch j as in jam major large m as in monkey small climb n as in nail snake shine m as in anger sing l as in lamb health bell f as in fit sphere half w as in wine invite live th as in thick months path z as in that bathes clothe s as in see essay face z as in zebra buzzed boys sh as in shell mission fresh j as in division garage h as in hat behave r as in run shrew then w as in one swim y as in yet tune some important facts about the consonant sounds the first fact of the 24 consonant sounds 15 are voice that is the vocal cords vibrate when they are produced and 9 are voiceless that is the vocal cords do not vibrate when they are produced second of the 24 consonant sounds 21 sounds are oral sounds that is the air passes through the mouth when they are produced and three sounds are nasal sounds that is the air escapes only through the nose when they are produced third the consonant sounds can be classified on the basis of their place of articulation that is the term in terms of which organs of the human body are used in their production according to the place of articulation the consonant sounds are classified as bilabial labiodental dental alveolar post alveolar palato alveolar palatal velar and glottal the different places of articulation like bilabial the two articulators involved are upper and the lower lip sound like p 
labiodental, lower lip and the upper teeth like f, dental, tongue and the teeth like th, alveolar, tip of the tongue and alveolar ridge like th, post alveolar, blade of the tongue and just behind alveolar ridge like r, palato alveolar, two pair of articulators, blade of the tongue and teeth ridge and front of the tongue and hard palate like example ch, palatal, blade of the tongue and hard palate, ear sound, velar, back of the tongue and soft palate, cur sound, glottal, vocal cords are the two articulators like in her sound. Now the fourth important point, the consonant sounds can be classified on the basis of their manner of articulation that is in terms of how the different organs of the human body interact with each other to produce them. According to the manner of articulation, the consonant sounds are classified as plosives, affricates, nasals, laterals, fricatives, frictionless continuants and semi-vowels. Now, the manner according to the manner of articulation like we have in the plosives, the two articulate, there is a complete blockage and sudden release of air. In the case of p, b, t, d, k, g, and in consonant, and in the affricates, there is a complete closure, and then there is a sudden release of the air, as in ch and j. Then there is a, in nasal sounds, there is a release of the air only through the nose, as in case of m n and m and then in lateral we have a partial closure made by the articulators and a stream passes at both sides as in the case of the sound r. Then the next are fricatives. In fricatives two articulators create obstruction that leaves only a small opening or space and the air passes through it with audible friction as in the case of f, v, th, d. Then next is frictionless continent where the air passes through the gap without any friction as there is a considerable gap between the articulators as in the case of r sound. Next is the semi vowels in case of semi vowel sounds the manner the sounds are articulated as vowel sounds but they function as consonants in the language as in the case of the sounds w and y this brief introduction to phonetics followed by lot of practice of british rp sounds can improve one's pronunciation. Now coming to the next section intonation. In verbal communication the manner of speaking is more important than the contact that is spoken. For example the two words thank you can be a bouquet for one person and brick bat for another person depending on the tone of the speaker. The study of different tones or the patterns of pitch variations in a language is called intonation. Intonation plays a crucial role in front office where there is more telephonic conversation than face to face conversation, particularly during booking and reservation that is before the arrival of the guest. Since the voice of the speaker is only heard the tone of voice matters a lot in creating a positive fun first impression. Now the types of tones. There are mainly four types of tones. These are falling tone when the speaker goes from high pitch to low pitch while speaking. The tone is called falling tone. Next. 
rising tone when the speaker goes from low pitch to high pitch while speaking the tone is called rising tone next falling rising tone when the speaker goes from high pitch to low pitch and then again to high pitch the tone is called falling rising tone next the rising falling tone when the speaker goes from low pitch to high pitch and then again to low pitch the tone is called rising falling tone now there are different symbols that are used for these tones the these symbols are like for the falling tone we have a slanted line moving downwards for the rising it's a slanting line upwards then the uses of tones in spoken english these four types of stone tones are used for different types of sentences which are as falling tone it is used for statements which are complete and definite second for wh questions which are matter of fact and intended to be neither polite nor impolite third for commands fourth for invitations fifth for exclamations sixth for tag questions the where the listener want is to be agreed to what the speaker says then rising tone it is used for yes or no type questions then statements intended to be questions then third non terminal tone group fourth terminal tone group said as an afterthought fifth request sixth comment intent commands intended to sound like request the next wh question showing politeness friendliness warmth and personal interest then repetition questions which represents someone else question or wants him or her to repeat some information then falling rising tone it is used for incomplete statements leading to a following tone group second statements intended to be a correction of what of the information received third statement intended to intended to be a warning reproach or to express concern fourth imperative meant to be a pleading request fifth statement which shows a kind of reservation on the part of the speaker next rising falling tone it is used for statements showing enthusiastic agreement second questions showing suspicion indignation incredulity or mockery third imperative expressing petulance haughtiness etc fourth exclamation expressing sarcasm or irony now coming to the end conclusion front office is like a cpu or central processing unit of a hotel it decides the overall success and progress of a hotel and the key to the success of front office management lies in the communication skills of the employees keats once said a thing of beauty is joy forever similarly an investment in phonetics and intonation is a profit forever thank you for watching epg patshala